In this video, we need to fix a problem that has arisen from the previous custom prices video. When we rebirth, our upgrade levels don't get reset. I actually believe this is something we never implemented. Open the event script under workspace and we need to find where we are rebirthing. So when we've got rebirth one, once we've done all our rebirth stuff here, we need to reset all the players upgrade levels. So I think first what I'm going to do is create a function. I'll call this reset upgrade levels equals function and we're going to need to pass the player in. The reason we're going to do this inside a function is because we're just going to reset the levels here, here and here. It's the exact same lines of code in three different places. We may as well use a function. It's a lot more optimized and cleaner. So we can say player.upgrades dot upgrade one level dot value equals zero. Copy this line, paste it and change it to upgrade two level. Paste it again and change it to upgrade three level. And just do this for however many upgrades you have. That's why we're passing the player in here because we need to access the player's upgrade levels. So we need the player in the function. So we're passing the player in as a argument. So we've got the player as a parameter here. And now when we call it, so let's just go before this if double prestige in our rebirth one event, we'll just say reset upgrade levels and pass in our player. So we're passing in this player, resetting our upgrade levels, and it's going up here. And we'll just copy this line here, paste it in the uh, second and the third rebirth events. Yeah, so let's just test the game now, test and play. As you can see here, I've got 303, so I have got a save profile. You may want to um, reset your save and new data store, but I'm just going to do this one here. So if I go to prestiges, I need that many points. So all my uh, upgrade shop here is max level already. So let me go to current client, click that, and then we go to the server, go to players, find my player, leader stats, points, and I'm going to give myself 1,200 points. So I've now got the max amount of stamina. Uh, I'm not going to sell, but I'm just going to click and rebirth. So now we go really slow. Um, that number we need to round, but I'm not going to cover that. If you want to round that, you can. Um, I think it's just round or math.round or something. Not sure off the top of my head, but that's really easy. Quick Google search, figure that out. Um, if we click this here, yeah, our upgrade levels have reset and we can now get spending. There we go. The only thing that also hasn't reset, I don't think our coins reset, did it? Let me have a little look. So let me prestige again. Um, I'm just going to manually set my stamina now. So I'll go to stamina, set that to like 5,000. Just because our we need higher stamina than a rebirth requirement. Let's change the points to 4,000 and something. So we've got 400 coins if we rebirth. Oh no, we want to keep our coins. Well, it's up to you. So, okay, so it doesn't reset our coins. I'm, I think I chose to not reset coins, actually. Um, if you want to reset coins as well, under the event script, uh, when we're resetting the upgrade levels, we may as well just... We may as well add in here a uh, player dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals zero. Anything which we're setting back to zero, we may as well put in here. So the points value as well. Take that out of the rebirth one, two, and three event. Just optimizing it really. I think that's about it. Uh, that will reset our coins and our points. Now, um, other than that, I think that's it. I just wanted to sort of fix it up a bit. So that is it for this video, everyone. Uh, it was a short one, but it was an essential fix. I'm going to be wrapping these extra videos up very soon as the number of suggestions I'm getting now are mostly based around new features and functionality, which I can make in different videos unrelated to the series. I will be looking into a racing system. I've had that a couple of times. Uh, I just need to have a play around with that myself first and make sure I can create something that works well. Um, because ideally I want to do that as a standalone video and I want to do that as part of this series. So I need to find out, I need to play around and make something that works with this series as well as any other game which would use a race system. Um, I'm talking more player speed than like car racing. Um, but I'm going to look into it, hopefully get it out within the next few videos. Uh, but obviously I do obviously, I do have a couple of other things I need to get out. I don't want to focus on these suggestions too much. Because obviously it's taking up a lot of my uploads at the minute. And as as much as I, you know, 
could do with the suggestions for future. Uh, I feel like I'm just putting too much effort into these ones at the minute. So what I'm going to do is start getting new videos out and then maybe doing a suggestion every like three videos. Um, just because I've got a backlog of videos that I need to do and I'm sort of prioritizing the new suggestions. Anyway, thanks for watching the video everyone. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and join our Discord server if you would like. The link will be in the description. Uh, we're trying to build a community of future game developers there. You can also ask for help with your scripts there too. Thank you and goodbye.